find hey. your focus. Hey! I cheated everybody. I didn't play with all. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. I can't. Are you dead? I can't find Hey, focus. hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Oh, everything is wrong. <gasps> Nothing is in hey. What do you want? I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Convy. What more do you want from me? I don't like how many bullets it took. Uh. Ah! Oh, my bullets! Stop! Wait, how do I? You said how do I use it? Ah! And welcome to Alone in the Dark. So as most of you know, this is uh, the new one that just came out. Well, came out a little while ago there, but we're finally getting a chance to play it. So uh, let's uh, get to it. Uh, take it easy, focus more on the story. The standard experience with its intended difficulty. For an extra challenge, monsters are harder and resources are more scars. The difficulty you can switch through the option menu. Hmm, good to know. Oh, what is this? Extra help, uh, modern. Extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Oh, I like that. And old school. For those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra systems to guide the player. Modern. Because <laughs> if I remember anything about Alone in the Dark, I had a really hard time with the game back in the day. I loved it, but oh my god. It was rough. But such a but such a good game though. Oh, it's a frog. He's the ultimate villain. Oh, there's a lot of frogs. Oh, look at the graphics. Oh my god, it's a gator. Oh, poor frog. See, once again, look, the sun is setting. <sighs> Alone in the dark. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Harwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Okay. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Oh, the game looks great, eh? This doesn't look like a place I, I would want to visit. Well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone.
Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Choose a character. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, when Hubby was uh, making the thumbnail, right, he didn't realize that you have to choose characters. So for this playthrough, the thumbnail literally is the guy. So he kind of pre decided which we're going to start with. <laughs> so we're going to be starting with the guy playthrough and then doing the girl playthrough probably next week. Kind of thing. So, yeah, so you haven't really missed any of the story yet. They just went through the intro. And now we're we're now we're picking. Yeah, I was laughing a little bit earlier when I told him, I'm like, you realize I'm like the thumbnail, the way you designed it, I have no choice but to play the guy first. He's like, Oh, huh? what? <laughs> I was like, I'm like, it would be fe it would be weird if you know I have the thumbnail spec on the guy and here I'm picking the girl character. It, it just wouldn't work. He's like, well then just play the guy, whatever. <laughs> like I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna start with Edward Carnby. David Harbour. Moments like that are hilarious, though. And then I'm just Hello? like, bye! Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Yeah, creepy ass door right here. I'll go around back. Has it been heard of sticking together? Chapter one. Six bullets. Oh, I feel so good about this. Oh, man. Look for a way inside the house. I want to look for a way to just go home. Feel it unlucky? It's the Scooby Doo, eh? Yeah. Sticking together is for people that want to live. It's a good point. I would like to live. <laughs> good morning. Now what do we got here? Flashlight. A clue. A ki kitchen garden key. V to switch your flashlight on and off. Oh, well, on a good note, it's a bright flashlight. I like it. You not angry people. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's dark. Come. Stop it. bullets congratulations yes can i take that little like little pitchforky thing too there was there was something in the bucket what right there was totally something there i thought i'd seen eyes but then i wasn't sure Aw, thank you. Logic don't work in video games. 
Makes sense. Makes sense. Nah, I'm not getting in there. I mean, you could if you hit it with your gun. But then we'd probably not have a gun after that. Okay, we got a creepy... Cause that's that's totally safe, eh? It's true. Ooh. Okay, so I can't get into the shed just yet. Housekeeper's key. <gasps> the fountain's cute. Well, you know, about as good as, you know, we, we can, uh, we can get. <laughs> also, okay. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm safe. I don't know. It's a great hat! We totally shouldn't judge the hat. It's fantastic. Yay! What? One bullet? Scammed. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water i wish i knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us i have started to look for help elsewhere i pray you would tell me if i'm going down a path that you find disagreeable with help from batiste and charlotte i found comfort in the practice of the voodoo I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French court of priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. 
Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Hmm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Because, yeah, that's not eerie at all. Great. <clears throat> right, totally nothing bad's gonna happen here. Do I have a map? Game's like, nope, no map for you, not yet. I found a fridge. Plus extreme religion is always a good combo. Right? It's a perfect combo. Oh, cute. Oh. Rat poison. Squeal no more. Ah. Oh, the collectible things. Forbidden knowledge collectibles. Oh. That, that's adorable. Lag nips are a non-essential. Oh, probably help a factory. Ooh, nice. They carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both Carmi and Emily's story. Ah, okay, good to know. Full? Dude, what if I want more alcohol? Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. <gasps> Somebody sabotaged! That doesn't make sense. Oh. 
let's not attempt to go there then. Am I supposed to find pieces? Desero, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpet beggar called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Combi figured they would just head inside and grab Germany. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. It's like, well, this is easier said than done. Dude, how hard is it to get to a front door? Right? No wonder the boiler doesn't work. Okay. This place is creepy. I don't like it here. <laughs> I think I want to go home. Need a key. Where the hell is the front door? <laughs> oh my god, this is too funny. Can you turn your power on water and now you have to solve a down brain teaser? I would probably end up just dying if that was the case. Like, I'm bad enough with puzzles. Okay, um... <laughs> Where the hell is the front door? Am I supposed to solve the boiler? Uh, blah. The, um, boiler puzzle? There was no option, though, for solving it. Or wait. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, wait, I found a door! Okay, progress. Uh, 
right? Locked. I found a bathroom. I have a weird reflection. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he would do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on the desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lady. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Oh. That's just great. Oh, this box? Yay! A map! Okay. Locked door. Bolted door. Uh, locked. Kitchen garden? Puzzle, puzzle. Puzzle, puzzle in the boiler room. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So they turn green when they're solvable. Oh, that's nice to know, actually. And then that's me. Okay. Ooh. It is a big house. Well, hospital, but. Piazza key. Piazza. Ah, oh, here, here, here. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I need the key. Okay, library. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, well, I don't like that. What's up here? Wedge shot. Un unwedge it then. Mm, looks important. Then kick it. Hey. Clearly, he doesn't want to investigate very much. He's just like, oh well, you know, shit. These doors are locked.
Oh, don't fall down there. Right, he could at least try a little bit. Just, just you know, a tad. So I'm here now, okay. Ah, okay, so, ooh, cool, 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 okay. So once you've been somewhere, it turns blue saying you're completed for now. Okay, so reception, treatment doctor's office, okay. This, so I'm assuming I gotta go here to open up the door to let her in. The quietness makes this place like so much more creepy. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual <laughs> mediums seem to increase profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. I do appreciate that they actually vocalized almost all of the documents. It literally, like, saves my throat for not having to, like, read everything. Hello? I need the key. I need a key. So double locked feels bad. Okay, well, I guess we're done there for now. Now we head back.
Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. <coughs> you can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartworth groom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartworth. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? <coughs> again, again, Miss Hartwood. My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. I love how I just like explored like so many places and then just now a bunch of people show up. All right, here we are. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. Search his room for clues. Damn these games that don't let me touch anything. <laughs> you know where he is, but he's fine. Exactly! Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. <clears throat> he says I struggle to even think. I wish I understood your death, Senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre, where you may rest, and I shall. I do, I do wish, though, that they, they did talk a little bit faster, though. Okay. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boiler in the basement would lead me to the cemetery? Ooh. Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motives would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont of Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Ta Taroella? 
I want that more than anything. Please let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under this his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonkler. Instead, she cruelly told Batiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way. That the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. Well, that's not pleasant. The people of DeSergio are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He is caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost, everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waits, he seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard? The dark man offered me a prison and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe except for me. Paint it to... Ah! Okay, now you're gonna let me do the puzzle? Okay! Let's do this! I almost feel like a professional here. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? <sighs> now, to kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, wow. It's striking. It's creepy, but also what really pretty. Dr. Gray. He's like, wait, what? I can't hear you. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Whoa. Emily? Teleported somewhere, right? A freaking massive lag spike. Dude, no, it's nighttime. I'm just gonna stay here forever. We don't, we don't need to leave. It's fine. Okay, wait. Dude from the thing. Wait, he was in the thing? Really? Oh my god, now I have to watch the thing again. Remake or original?
Oh, I don't want to go outside. What is that? I missed. Christ, what the hell was that? I don't know, but I don't like how many bullets it took. Can't go that way. I'm just trying to find ammo, dude. What the hell is going on? Oh, I did not want to do that. throwing the item. I just broke whatever the hell that was. Feels bad. I don't want to sprint. It's so creepy. I can't go that way. I'm not trying to go that way. I'm just trying to like I Don't do that. Don't ring the bell. What is wrong with you? It's like ringing the dinner bell. his life it better not is it gonna break i love how the game doesn't tell you how to use it until like the monster literally lunges at you it's like thanks game i i really appreciate it my hand is gonna be hugging that f button for like forever I'm gonna call it my my foot button. How do you call it? Oh, I have to hold it and then throw it. God damn it! This is the second time now. Oh. I 
was like, do you even see somebody to throw this at? Oh, it feels a little bit pointless carrying this. Okay, so clearly you want me to throw something here. Clearly. Oh, the game's probably like, will you just go back to the damn store? Like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, listen, it's called exploring. break <laughs> well this ruined everything I didn't know that the two of them were gonna come at me nope <laughs> now he's having too much fun going up and down them or, or what he'll do is he'll go halfway up the steps and then start crying for help to, to get him help to go the rest of the way up even though, the, you know, there's only four steps. <laughs> but it, but it, it's hilarious. Oh my god. Don't let him get inside, Kong. They're not the good guy. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? A pact with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth of that. Are you a thinking man, compare? No, not if I can help it. You know, he was held too much as a puppy. <laughs> way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace, guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know, surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here. Take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Can I just stay here with you, my dude? Batiste's keys. But I don't want to go outside.
I mean, I cannot deny he was held a lot as a puppy. That is true. It is very, very true. I think I feel safer if I just stay here with this guy. Outside seems very, very bad. Sir! You want to come along? Nah, I'm gonna stay here for a while. Then I'll stay here with you. Okay? Okay. I'm glad we have a deal. End game. <laughs> can I talk to you again? Anything I can do for... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Batiste. Just tell my sister Lottie I'm alright. They claim me. Yeah, right. I know. I know. But it's true, though. He was a very, very needy puppy. Oh, wait. He's always needy. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Your map is of no use here? Did he not just- Oh no, never mind. I thought he gave me a key- uh, a map. Oops. But I don't want to go outside. I have no weapon. Okay, that one is weird. It's got like weird like dangly arms on his head. Look at him! Oh, I just want to stay inside. That's true. I mean, if you've seen him as a puppy, you would want to like hold him like nonstop. Stream alerts? We have some. Some. Mm, sometimes the audio works and sometimes it doesn't. him up there. Okay, I don't know where he went. And now I'm a little bit more creeped out because, oh, okay, he's still up there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Okay, that actually was- 
was like pure luck. Pure luck and I'm like, go me. Sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm a little bit impressed with myself here. I didn't even realize that was like a gas Molotov thing. Right? That, that was impressive. So I thought it was just an item I could pick up. Like, I didn't realize it was a, a weapon. Come here, weird, weird. I think that's his shadow that I see there. Nay. Hey. Okay, okay. So I'm full on pistol bullet, so I've got to remember to come back and get that. Okay, so here's another gas can. The, I don't like this button for holding because it's very awkward for me trying to move and hold this at the same time. worked out too. Wow. That's not how I wanted to like waste ammo and like claim new ammo, but I guess it kind of worked out. <laughs> oh god, this game. But yeah, it's really awkward. You gotta hold the item with Q. Otherwise, it automatically throws the item. So trying to like walk and hold. <gasps> it's awkward. Okay, can we stop having creatures jump out at me around a corner? Like, give me a tiny little bit of a chance here. A juju. Ooh. 
Molotov. Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Okay, no, I'm not using the talisman yet. Wait. Recognize this place. It was Miss Jackson's seance room. The last time he was here, he had been trying to figure out the significance of wasps' nests and horse hair wrapped up in red silk. An image of a dead woman stabbed with hat pins flashed inside his mind. Calm shuddered. This was no time to dwell. He needed to find out about the talisman and get back to this cell. Yeah, but... There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. There are two belonging to DeSergio and one for the clerk's office and one for the library. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But... But for the Crescent City, I'm a s Right? <laughs> I've always wanted to have a whole collection of the Puppet Master dolls, but I could never find them. I especially wanted Blade. Blade was like my favorite. Blade and the Jester. Like I've literally like I've like dolls creep me out, right? But like I've literally wanted those those that collection since I was a kid. There's just something about them that I just loved. <laughs> Even if they're terrifying. Yeah, we have to come back to this place because I don't have a key for this spot either currently. Okay, I guess time to I think it's meant for the talisman. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Three, five, eight. I was like, where the hell is the starting point here? Wait, I'm so lost. Okay, probably help. Okay, if I pay attention to the diagram. A bridge between the scapes of dream and memory, according to Stern. Three, five, eight. So, okay, so starts with the, the inner circle, then outer, then outer. Okay. But 
Oh, there's no phi. <laughs> I couldn't find. I, you know, I actually looked for a centipede clown. <laughs> I don't even know why. There's no five here, though. Because to me, that's the starting point. But what's confusing... The middle one doesn't have a five. Oh, I'm gonna be stuck here for a long time. I don't understand this. Wait. Not gonna lie, I really feel like I'm blind. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? Huh. I didn't even notice the numbers on the side. Oh, the door opened. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. Oh, he's I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? 
Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Harwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, <laughs> Detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, in a martini glass. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? No. Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Oh, chapter two. Oh my God, hurry up. Didn't you select of Carnival? Oh my god, these people. How did you. Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. I talked too much. No. It's not what you think. Have you. Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive, and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something special? Oh my god, do stop talking Tear for away a minute. At. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be all right? No, he's not going to be all right. Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Tarawea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Dude needs to stop playing with fire.
Thank you. <laughs> so, I, okay, so I was saying, um, I like that they, they, um, they archive the obsolete items when you move on to the next chapter, so that way, like, there's no confusion of, like, oh, shit, I still need this. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. <laughs> they have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Room key number six. Ooh. He doesn't have the spikes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, didn't, like, he, his visual changed a little bit between movies, eh? If I remember right? God, it's been a, it's been a long time. Saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but... You can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam from pouring out. Be careful. Hmm. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. So we met him. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is for the most part busy outside. There are currently six guests at Desetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. So Grace is also a patient here. See, you know when we played the prologue, I said there was something weird about that kid. I was like, dude, there's something off with that child. Sandra. Sandra suffers from writer's block. Okay, I don't think we, we haven't met her yet. Grace. Okay, here we go. Reason for admission. The mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't presently acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings towards her father. No, dude. She's... She's... There's weird. Alright, even I didn't know there were 13 movies... Yeah, they they keep making them, but I feel like they're they're just not the same as the old ones, obviously. But like, they're not bad. Mind you, I don't I don't know if I've seen the most recent ones though. Malcolm, Elizabeth Perosi. Okay, we got the key for her room. Room number two. Looks like all the patients are accounted for. Except for Jeff. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. 
motorcycle you can try to get in. Wait, where's my map again here? Okay, so we got a puzzle here we can't do yet. Um, I don't think that they're gonna let me into Gray's office. I need the key. Okay, we can't go there yet. Okay. Okay. So I wonder can, if I can go this way. Last time they interrupted me. Save her no, technically you don't really have to. We could just be like, bye. We don't have to do this. Mm. I need the key. Okay, so Batista's key doesn't work here. So I can't go here yet. Okay, so then, which means we have to backtrack here. Okay, we can finally go to the library. Okay. Dude, what the hell? Wait. Options? Where's my, uh... One second here. Wait. <laughs> but button mash. Play the Iron Cross 22 hour journal story. <gasps> oh, I did not see that one either. Oh. V. Okay, there we go. I was like, dude, what's the flashlight button? There we go. Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Bricklow, 1917. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of barrique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Okay. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their seto was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Lavance of the police charged a deadly attack 
in order to save several children kidnapped by these workers. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, the Dream rebuilt Deserto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. Wow. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Puncha Train. On September 29, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Puncha Train to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of their settle still stands on the shore of Lake Bunchy Train, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledu family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Wait, you should totally fix the house. Come on now. Okay. It's it's funny how it's like they made like the library is locked and everything, and they're all just like, oh, you know, it's an important room, but yet. There's like nothing in here. Oh. I agree. Ooh, can I have it? No, I can't have it yet. It's not nice. So see, okay, so small parlor, you're telling me that there's something here. terrifying at all. What happened? Everything's normal again? I... I mean, if you want to call that normal. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it normal.
okay, okay, okay. Giant lock on a tiny, right? Wedge shot. Just unwedge it. <laughs> They're like, nope. Just give me the gun. <laughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. Stop messing with me, man. Okay, uh, now. Oh, okay, 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 so okay, where am I? Here. The kitchen garden, I can finally do the well puzzle. Wait. I was like, am I going the right way here? No, it should be this door over here. here oh okay okay so we grab that then we go over to the well mummified cat who the hell beast of burden oh lovely mm. Okay, so that's that's that. So now to get back. Uh uh here. No. Because this door's locked. Oh blocked, blocked, blocked. Okay, wait. The laundry room is also Blocked. Maximum pantry. All right, here, right? Oh no, I can't go back there. 
Oh, that's what they meant by locked. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll have to get to it a different way. Right, and then that door's locked. Game, just let me take it. <laughs> They're like, nope. Sorry. You can't have it. <laughs> Objectives. While Detective Combi was grateful to be back at Decetto, he was eager to test his hypothesis. After having suffered through that sinister world, dressed as the French Quarter, Jeremy's writing could be read much more literally. What if Jeremy used his talisman to actually visit those places he mentioned in the book? Combi felt certain that this was the answer. He wouldn't find Jeremy hiding inside Decetto. He would be in one of those other worlds. And to follow in his steps, Conby would have to investigate the old clock and the boiler and find out what part they played. <laughs> it's bad sometimes, eh? Shut. Oh yeah, right, this is not oops, my bad. I keep every time I see this staircase, I keep thinking this is the staircase that's gonna take me to that other patient's room. Ah, wait. Wait a second here. Sorry, sorry. Uh... Mm. Oh, right, Lottie's room, we still need to do that. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, so that's later. Okay. <clears throat> Oop, I'm stuck. I don't expect anything to have changed. But you never know, so just check in quick. Okay, so we gotta go back. You're locked. Down here. I feel like there's also a chance I'm coming down here a little bit too soon. Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the oh, there book we go. that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? Okay. I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Well. Oh, that? Yeah. Okay, so now at least we know it's in her room. Because originally we didn't know that before. So let me... 
special guy. So boiler room, we can't do it just yet. Uh, let's head back to the food and wine cellar really quickly, though. So we don't have the key for this. Okay. I wasn't a hundred percent sure there. Okay, so let's head back. Now we can go back. Uh nothing here, right? Yeah, we don't really need to go to these spots. Okay, so we can head. Back upstairs. Oh, shit. Where's the hallway door? Nope, not here. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. here. Oh, that's true. We never did go up the actual main stairs here just yet. I definitely don't like these statues. Jeremy wrote about the commonplace book. Uh, looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken and missing some pieces. Okay. <laughs> oh, we found something. Uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. Can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. But we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man. Jeremy, you scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. He's like, you okay there? Whatever. McCarthy reminded Detective Comby of an old bar fly he used to know. He detested. He detested <laughs> there was no getting around it. McCarthy was going to have a hard time getting on his good side. Okay. Okay, so we are here. So gallery, Jeremy's room, Batista's room, Parost's room. Mm Whose bright idea it is to have freaking empty boxes? Oh, that actually was the right key. Oh, okay. Huh. Eccentric. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. Starting artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearances. 
Must have been 15 years or more now. You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. Okay. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Terceto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Poncha train. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay, so 11110. So, water, arrow, I'm going to call it squiggle. Or not, this is totally not right. Uh, okay, okay. These paintings got some grim looking rock on them. Okay, we stopped turning around the wrong picture. So William Franklin Nora William so two nine four Wait, that doesn't help me. <laughs> okay, wait. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. The simple astrology cipher was a favorite among the artists who lived in the house 20 years ago. They easily turned into numbers when needed, but also acted as signatures for the members, as there were only 12 of them. Right, I know, but... But that doesn't...
The game of the old one? Uh, some people are saying it's a remake. But for me, it's like it's been so long since I've played the game. Like, I honestly don't really remember much of the original game. Numbers just might be some really similar. Yeah, well, we have the code though. The code was uh this. Uh, where are you? Right here. So William, Franklin, and Nora. So two, two, nine, four. But the problem I don't see unless that's that but the other symbols don't match oh that's the upside down symbol Jesus The worst thing is, like, when it's like, you know what to do, right? But it's like, the things are just, like, not aligning in your head. Look how tiny I look in the mirror reflection. That's actually a little bit creepy. Pisces, Libra, Taurus. You think it's supposed to be a prequel to it? Yeah, honestly, I have no idea. Okay, so... The boiler room? Uh... This is why I hate puzzles. Okay. okay, well... I don't like that. Well, this is not nice. I don't want to waste my bullets and shoot you. It's a reimagination. Ah! Right. 
Detective Comby had a hard time understanding what had happened. It did feel similar to when he was pulled into the French Quarter, but with less power and purpose. Did he cause this? What the hell is going on? Okay. Looks like everything's back to normal here. I was like, good, because I'm like, I wasn't done investigating. Emily's here. Oh. oh yeah, I don't have a key. Emily is here. Dude, this child. I like it's that they use Hollywood actors in the game for the characters. I mean, that's not a big deal, though. I like that he's the main character. Okay, okay. Okay, Parasi's room is done. Batiste's room is done. Jeremy's room still needs, um... That other key. You're locked. Feels bad. I don't like this place. I need the key. Friggin' locked doors. Okay, now I gotta remember. So I think we have the two... Is that for the clock or is that for the boiler? Wait. <laughs> Repair the plate on the clock. Find the boiler mentioned in the commonplace book. Well, I know where the boiler is, but wait, wait a minute. Let me just check the clock really fast. Seen this somewhere. Oh, uh, I have no idea if it is. Okay, I was like, can I not? Okay. There was something in the commonplace book about this. I know, dude. I, I know what I'm doing. Just the ro the rotating was confusing my, my brain here.
doesn't seem to match. But then that one loops. No, no, that one had a piece there. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. That, of course, goes like that. And that matches that. But then that part doesn't. See, then that doesn't match. definitely does not match there. Okay, yeah, because I can't move the centerpiece. Stop it. Definitely I don't really know the number for this one though. But according to this, I can do the puzzle. But do I, I don't know the numbers. Or wait, no, I'm being stupid again, aren't I? Three, six, ten? Or no, no, not ten, sorry. Three, six, four. Or, no. Six, four, three. Jeremy's room. Uh, 
I mean, listen, my dude. Wait, which one was Jeremy's room? This is Jeremy's room. Oh, come on! As his pride faded, Detective Combe was left with a feeling of unease. He had successfully managed to enter a whole new world. How could this be? And why did he accept this so readily? One thing was clear. There were no answers to be found by standing around questioning reality. Knowing only what he read in the commonplace book, Combe Headed off to look for Jeremy in the hateful mound. But why? Oh, I don't like this. Huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. I think I'm so glad you're excited that, you know, you entered his memory. I'm just like, dude, I don't want to be here. <sighs> he looks so amused. <laughs> oh, wait, there was... Uh... Something I want to. Never mind. Don't mind me. Ah, yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh, I can't save here. Oh, thanks, game. You're the greatest. Ugh. Ugh. Oh well, game's nice enough to checkpoint me. The bolt cutter. May nineteen twenty three. Oh, my God. Money. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, painter. He read about our finds in the papers. He oh, it's so chill. <laughs> try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hartwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. <clears throat> Hartwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. He means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. The bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Oh, lovely. Any good horror scares yet while playing? I mean, there were some mild ones. So far, nothing like too, too crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And listen, it's totally not because I'm scared and I don't want to proceed, okay? <laughs> huh? I 
like, yes, let's just open the door from back towards there. I need the key. You know, you don't really need the key. You could just, like, break the window, probably crawl through it, or just kick the damn door. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> Did it? Let me check again. I don't see anything popping up for it, though. Hmm. Outlast was scarier. Listen! We don't judge people's level of scary. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. These types of games are very unnerving to me. Yeah, I know. I've, I've played. Uh, I've played all the the games, but it doesn't change the fact that these games creep me out really bad. I love when that happens. The jetty key. See, I feel like I'm getting scammed here. They should allow me to carry more bullets and more, you know, heals. Fella hides items next to toilets. Character drinks are irritated until the water trying to pick them up. Exactly. I don't know. I've played the first one. And we played the remastered. Or wait. Do we? No, I don't remember if I if I if we played the remastered. We played the original one, I bought the remastered, but then I don't remember if we actually ran through the remastered yet. And then I have the second one, but my computer can't handle it, so we can't play it yet. That's because of David Harbour? Ah. See, I had no choice but to pick um, David Harbour for the first character to play through. Because when my husband created the thumbnail for today's stream, he didn't realize that you can pick between two characters. And he just naturally picked the guy character for the thumbnail. So it would have been kind of weird playing as the girl while we had the guy as the thumbnail. So basically we'll run through the game as him. And then assuming we still have time, obviously not today, but assuming we still have time, then we'll run through the game as the girl. I totally have been judged by your horror taste. Also, I'm proud of you for playing, uh... Dead Island, though. A Dying Light. Fuck, man, my brain. Playtime would tell. <laughs> Stop it! I hear you! There's something missing. Hmm. Well, look, I mean, look, I like him as an actor. The girl, I don't know who the hell she is. So 
So I probably would have picked him anyway to start. That, and I was told his playthrough is a lot more fun than the girls. missing something here. Oh, is the jetty key maybe for that door? Maybe? The funny thing is, like, I remember watching the interview whenever they were announcing the game and they basically told us who she was and I just don't remember. <laughs> is less paranormal? I was just told, like, obviously, like, I didn't get, like, spoilers and stuff. I was just told her playthrough is not as fun. But, like, I didn't ask for details because, obviously, I want to form, you know, my own opinion while we're playing. What happens when I'm sadly surrounded by zombies, I will jump scare, but I never throw my mouth. That's good. Ew, look at them! Oh, God. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Well, it could be, like, well, kind of like what Blair said, though. If her side is less paranormal then maybe it's just not as scary compared to his side. But. Obviously it's hard to say, right? Okay, the bridge. Oh, got it. I may have accidentally uh, toasted myself just a tad. I'm just a little bit crispy. It looks so good. It's definitely great. Obviously, we all know I have like um like a love-hate relationship with these types of games. <laughs> Whatever, that first Molotov throw of the game was pop right? See? Sometimes I can be pretty impressive. Sometimes. It's like he keeps going back and forth between dimensions while she has no idea what's going on fully, so it seems like her side is not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But she's... But she still jumps through the, the, the dimensions as well, right?
Like, obviously, again, like, without, like, too much spoileries, right? Dude, I didn't tell you to jump! I wasn't done! He's like, oh, my back. Oh, God, my hat. struggle with the game the playthrough itself is not that long like you can finish it within like four to five hours like if you don't suck obviously we're probably not gonna finish it that fast because i'm slow so the plan the way that i'm seeing it is uh obviously today tomorrow maybe sunday depending on how long it takes us to run this playthrough and then next week we start uh the girls version the girls story that's kind of like how I'm leaning on it for the game. If her playthrough is just her sitting over him lying on the floor having sex with him. Okay, well I, I totally did not want to jump down. So I'm a little... I kind of wish we can carry multiple weapons with us. Well, damn straight I took the axe. I think almost eight hours. Yeah, so I know somebody that finished uh, this playthrough, the guy version, in four hours. Oh. Oh god, he pukes! I screwed that up. Yeah. Well, that, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, if you have no issues with the game itself, like, you don't struggle with finding things and the puzzles and whatever, you can finish it relatively quickly. Yeah. It looks pretty weak. I just need something to break it. Yeah, so the person I know them, at the time they didn't run the girls playthrough, that was just the guys playthrough that took four hours. So obviously running both playthroughs obviously will extend the, the game time. Well, I had an axe in my hand, but I think I dropped it whenever I was like dodging with the Molotov thing. I just want to explore everything before I go break that barrier. Yeah, so like, I mean, it works out good for me because at the time when we were trying to figure out scheduling to be able to play Alone in the Dark, I was a little bit worried because I was like, well, if the game is super long, then I don't know when we can play it because of everything else that we had to play at the time. So, like, for me, like, knowing the game is not ridiculously long kind of works out good for us. Well, obviously, I think the game is overpriced, personally. Like, that's just my opinion. Now, the game is great, and I like the story so far. And I understand, like, it's Alone in the Dark, so it's name value, it's a classic, you know, that kind of thing. But I still think the game is overpriced. 
But then again, I think a lot of games these days are overpriced <laughs> just because they're crazy expensive. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything else in here unless I'm completely blind. It's highly possible I may have missed an item up there when I got pushed, but it is what it is. There's not much I can do about that. I can't go back. If games are short, then I don't see the point of making of them. So then you're disregarding indie games. Because a great game doesn't have to be long. Games that run, like, 15 hours and longer are just... They're great games, do not get me wrong, but it becomes very tedious. And when you're an extremely busy person... It's hard to dedicate that much hours into a game and fully enjoy everything. There, okay, there's the sound. I was like, dude, what is happening? I felt like every time I turned around, it was like sneaking up on me. Not always, though. Because then, okay, yeah, sure, you got more story, but then you got collectible hunting. Now, I like collectible hunting, but like, let's just say, you know what I mean? You got a shit ton of side quests that may be good, may not be good super large maps that just add on to exploration that makes you forget the story that you're working on and then adding in the puzzles that again ruin the story and the flow of it oh Zelda I would go fishing for two hours 100% I, I love Zelda and like don't get me wrong like I'm just vocalizing this I personally love exploring in games but it's very hard to fully enjoy these things, especially as a streamer. I know the last couple of games that we've played, I actually tried to explore more and enjoy more of the game. But I also know it's very tedious and boring for some people. People like things to flow faster. So... As a streamer, I kind of have to move quicker through games. Oh, I see him. He's a deep part of the time with fetch quest and no fast travel. Exactly, exactly. Like, fast travel, we, we need 100%. Especially if a game is going to be super, super long and you have to backtrack a shit ton of times. Fast travel is a must. I really don't understand what the point is all these empty boxes. Yeah. Okay, so we did this. Okay, I still have my axe if I get attacked. I wasn't sure if he was actually going to attack me or if he was just being 
Sneaky, sneaky. Um, I have not, no. Because the way I see it, if, if I can run the game with keyboard and mouse, then I'm going to use keyboard and mouse. If it doesn't work very well, then I will switch to controller. Okay, I'm just going to save quickly here. So I can't grab extra ammo. Would I get it on console? Um, probably not because I don't own a PS5. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing else in here. That's not terrifying at all. Stop. Okay, I 
I see a ladder. So I'm like trying to like lean in because I can't see. Okay, we got a Molotov. Oh. This place is so creepy. Tiptoeing everywhere again. YOLO is so much funnier. And YOLOing is funnier. Yes. <laughs> but I don't think stealth is gonna work everywhere. I'm pretty sure it's only a matter of time until I'm gonna have to like fight that guy. Or other things. It's the hateful mount Jeremy talked about in his book. And you're crazy for wanting to come here, dude. This thing's terrifying. Just willingly walks into this creepy ass. <gasps> I'm coming closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? Lottie? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's alright. He might be unharmed, but far from alright. He's a curse upon Decento. Ah, uh, here we go again. What? Good 
morning. Oh, Christ in heaven. It's like, well, that shotgun would be quite nice. He's like, nope, he's still not going to take it. Okay, so we found Jeremy's bag. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. By Juan it's pretty good. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul and Sorry, though. Yet I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the tarot of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage. No matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. It's pretty good. So basically, in order to get like the full, full story, you gotta play the game as both characters, because uh, some lore items also, you can only get if you run both playthroughs. So it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so drawing room we can finally enter. Okay. Oh, looks like we can finally go there too. We can do this puzzle here. Meanwhile, I'm like, there was a puzzle here? <laughs> It was a bust. The oil rig and the hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. Combe was sure he had struck gold when he found <coughs> Jeremy's bag. Oh my God, stop. But it was just a trap set by Lottie, another of DeSetto's orderlies. Things got out of hand real quick, but somehow Combe stop. managed to find his way back to DeSetto, none the wiser. Oh, we started At today. Least it was one item off his list. Now he had to figure out what to do with the boiler. So there's, I think it's four chapters. Leave it to me now to like figure that out. There's, I think there's four chapters, and we're at chapter two. Maybe almost done chapter two. I'm not exactly 100% sure. Oh, now you tell me I can remove door wedges. Oh, wait, never mind. That's because I have a palena. Oh. <laughs> it worked. I was just wondering. I was like, sorry, I forgot I picked up that item, right? So the game suddenly like, you can open these uh, these things. I was like, uh. Makes sense. Okay. And let's not touch this just yet. The Barlow lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Okay. Oh. Oh, we finally finished.
there's one set. Go me. Oh! Oh! So now we have access to the shotgun. So, th so this collection here unlocks the shotgun cabinet. Oh, okay, wait, I want to look at this now again. Okay. Forbidden knowledge. Secret objective. Forbidden knowledge. Secret objective. Forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge. Secret objective. Unlocks the shotgun. Forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge. Unlocks a hidden memory in the attic. Forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge. Ooh. Why, well, imagine if you were actually really bad and you could and you didn't find the collectibles, you wouldn't be able to get the shotgun. What's this? Wah. Wah. Okay, we'll go grab the shotgun in a second. I don't think I have everything I need. I know, but I just wanted to look anyway. Calm down. We'll be back. So then you should tell me that there's still something here, right? Yeah, so there's still something here. Okay, so let's go grab my shotgun. Oh, I'm so excited! Come to me, precious gun. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Meanwhile, it's like I don't have access to shotgun bullets. But now at least I have a shotgun. Okay. So now we can't do anything here yet. These are all still locked. Mm. All right, right. The cellar. Um. Okay. Uh. I would like to go back upstairs, though. Wait, where am I? The door's locked. Look at that smoke. scared the crap out of me. Oh, now I'm all angled weird again. Shit. Doing so good with not taking in damage. I was not mentally prepared for this uh, environment change here. sad now. <laughs> uh, uh, wait. 
to get back to the main sorry if I go down the piazza stairway hall I don't know uh, wait that's Lottie's room bathroom our health regens over time I don't think which is a little sad uh Down the stairs. Okay, wait, just let me check my map again here. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like think here. I want to get to the sitting room, I think. This way, and then it's upstairs. We don't have a key for Gray's office yet. Something missing. This is what? Gracie's room. Okay. So let's go. Yeah, here first. Let's enter the creepy ass bathroom. That's creepy. Nothing. Oh, I thought I thought he wasn't opening the door there for a second. I was like, dude, you wanna? Oh, I didn't want to go to Gracie's room. Shit, wrong way. Was an earthquake? Holy shit, is everything okay? This building being dropped or something? Oh wow, that's scary. What you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. We 
Does he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. See, I told you there's something weird about that kid. Oops. As so far as you can tell, everything's fine. Oh, that's good. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. It's another one of those strange padlocks. Ah, that's true. She's the one holding the boiler piece. Okay, so so we did not regen health. I'm sad now. There's more of that rod again. Like it's guiding me to do something. What? If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something. Of the stains of rot. Yeah, also we gotta find the the other bottle. I, I get what you're saying. Miss Beauregard, <laughs> I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Ah. Mr. Like, that's super helpful. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, no, I did enter. Okay, so Gracie was hanging out in Cassandra's room. Okay, okay, okay. Must be that kid's room. Why does she seem so familiar? Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Okay. These creepy ass dolls. Okay, so you're saying that there's something in Gracie's room, though. Oh, her head just fell off. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's oh, a collectible. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. I was like, um, hello? Okay, so we still don't have- Okay, so there's nothing else here. So this- We can't do this yet. Okay, wait. So if I go back... Jeremy's room, we still needed a key. Okay, so I guess I gotta come back to this after, so... Okay. I really hate these statues. you need the key.
I was trying to avoid going this way. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even, oh my god, I didn't even see the electricity. That's actually really funny, because that would have been, like, real bad. I'm so glad you're excited that this worked. Can we turn the light back on? He's like, nope, we don't need no light. And I'm like, dude, are you kidding me right now? We need light. Jeremy? <gasps> what the hell is going on here? Ew! Where's the body? Who cares? At least I have light again. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. Okay, so we have to come back to the boiler puzzle after. So. Sorry. Um. Okay, so we can't do boiler room just yet. Okay, so let's head back up. Uh, technically we're done here, I guess, for now.
Head out to bathroom. Uh, Lottie's room, we still don't have the key. So I can't finish that puzzle until I get the key for that. Let me just see something here. Okay, so I gotta figure out So maybe the mezzanine door is open now. Maybe. Maybe. So let's see. So let me see. Yeah, you're still locked. You're blocked. Oh, oh. No, you're blocked too. Wait. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit tricky now. Okay, wait. Calm, it didn't know what to make of the grotesque vision of the dead club. Was he dead? Or was it all fiction? Okay, so... I need to figure out how to get back to the servant stairs. Okay, so let's try this again. Oh, wait, 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 I think I know where that is. Wait. Maybe. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. I think. Here. Shot. There we go. It worked. Okay, you're locked. Okay, now where am I? Now that I'm here. Okay, so two doors that leads me back into the mezzanine. Now this, oh, this I can unlock now, finally, for shortcut. Ah, oh, finally. Okay. Oh, we finally get to meet her? Detective Conby. How good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looked like it was hit by a bomb. 
Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capability. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. That'd be nice if that, that drink that she just gave me healed me. <laughs> I'd feel so much better. Okay, so we got a door there. bang yet oh I just need a syringe for this oh finally okay we opened up the other shortcut <clears throat> balls more of that whiskey. Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. Am I bothering you? On the contrary, detective. <laughs> I enjoy watching professionals at work. Well, I better get going. Bye now, detective. Don't take any wooden nickels. I like how he asks her for, like, more whiskey, but yet he doesn't actually take any. Archer, oh. Oh, that's a lovely spot for a freaking stretcher. It definitely sounded like somebody was fighting there. Tonk, tonk, tonk. He's so loud when he goes down these stairs. Tonk, 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 tonk. I need a key. Okay. We need a key for that. There's a 
door there. As the world moved into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name for poverty. It also breeds madness, though, through de desperation. Jeremy was, of course, no such victim, for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been with him. Oh, okay. Mm, okay, so there's two doors down here. Zombie kill that sounds good. Finally. You know the worst thing is? I, I almost did not see that key. Oh, finally! Shortcut! Oh yeah, there's a lot of that, eh? In this room. On the common place of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts and luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand in grim. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Okay. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence, always crashes out of sight hear me for we all bear this mark thus we must remain alone in the dark that's not creepy he's saying thing that referring to deserts and archer yells balls every time he hears the guy say it because it sounds like ben what balls which are used for okay oh okay 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 <laughs> I'm just like I've never seen Archer okay so according to this there's still something in the grand parlor we're not done yet so I wonder if that has t if that's tied into this area But let me go get the medicine box key first. At least. It's funny, but crass. Mmm. Oh! Um, Parasite the Grey came out today, finally. That one that I was telling you about. And I believe all episodes are available. I know it's on Netflix. I don't know if it's if it's on Vicky though. Did you? I think you might be further than me now. I took a little bit of a break to watch some other stuff while I was waiting for more episodes to be available. It really drives me nuts watching like one episode and having to wait each time. Okay, so now we've got the medicine that we need for that other box. 
So now Lottie's room should be... Should be... What? There's still something in Lottie's room? Lottie's room should be finished, though. Unless something else comes here after. Oh! Forbidden knowledge. Oh, I did not even re notice the window. Now it should be done, eh? There we go. Now Lottie's room is done. Okay, drawing room. We have to come back to that later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, give me a second here. Uh, so if I go back to the grand parlor, I can detour. No, I can't go here yet. But didn't I just... Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's a, if I run this way, it's a detour. Hmm. Ah, okay, okay, because I didn't open up this box. That's so lame. There's literally nothing in it. I'm gonna go back up this way because I believe we did open up that shortcut. Okay, so she left. Okay. Okay, cool. And then I believe I gotta go... I think it's this door. Yeah, yeah, this actually makes sense. can't do that puzzle yet. But I can do this puzzle now. Oh, oh whoops. Okay, so let's shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the number of the lake. Two, five, seven? Let me just see. Ah, oh, ah, oh, my bad, my Peroshi's. Okay. Two. So Pisces. Gemini. Leo.
Okay, this one was a little bit easier than the last time. Okay, so that's for the boiler now. Which means... Yeah, her room is now finished. You see, it's weird that the sitting room is not showing, like, a lock. Like, a puzzle. Because that globe is still locked for us. Jeremy's room, we need a key. Uh, so, so far we cannot get here yet. This door is still blocked. Okay. Um, attic is blocked at the moment. But I think for the attic to open, we have to find that other collectible to open the attic door. Drawing room. There was a puzzle, but I don't remember what it is. But it, look, it's not green, so we can't solve it yet. Uh, Gray's office is locked. Clerk's locked with a thing there. And then we can't go to the other section yet. Okay, I guess it's time to go do the boiler room, finally. Can't say I'm happy about it. <laughs> uh, fastest way... Oops, sorry. Back there. would be down the stairs. Now actually, before I proceed that way, Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna come back here for a minute. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave. Alone. Okay, he doesn't. He still doesn't know the password yet. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. And here we don't have the key to the office. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to like recheck here really quickly before I proceeded. And then treatment room, right? Is also locked, okay. So, okay. Just checking. It's totally not because, you know, I don't wanna go this way. Oh, these pieces also rotate. Oh, oh god, okay.
these ones don't look right. Oh, is it? Oh, that actually makes sense, eh? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, so it's like we're, we're building houses, eh? My brain is like... Hmm... See, this one doesn't look right. Align the the side pieces, but those ones are kind of confusing me. I think this one has to go here because of the, the sunlight thing. Like that. Okay, the, cor the two corner ones don't move. Ah, oh, 
okay, okay, okay. puzzles so much. That one looks right. That looks right. Then it doesn't align. Because the sun has to go with a little arrow. The sun has to align with this guy. Now there's something... And that doesn't fit there. Don't match though. I don't, I don't think the sun goes there. Stop barking. Low key enough. Steam delay sucks so much. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Uh. Ruth seemed like a handful. Her talk about Jeremy and the dark man made it sound like she might <sighs> know something of importance. But ultimately, she felt like oh, a dead end. Stop barking! Why do you always bark when something's talking? You freaking potato. Oh, this Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you troublemaker. Oh, it's hot in this room, though, eh? in here, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. Pain in the ass, but you're a good boy. Okay, I gotta figure out this puzzle. Mm -hmm. I gotta figure out the puzzle. Oh, we need a hug. Mm -hmm. We need a hug. Oh. Oh. Oof. 
Oh my god. Loki, don't start with me, please. Uh, uh, fucking plates, thousand. You know, this took so long that I, I don't even remember. The numbers that I'm supposed to look for to align. Yeah, we already did that. <laughs> Stop, Loki. Uh, here, seven, uh, wait, so nine, seven, five. Oh, there we go. One hundred percent. Tell you, he's lucky. He's cute. Okay, door. You don't have to open like that. That's creepy. I don't appreciate that. Okay, wait. Before we proceed, <laughs> proceed. I'll admit, though, chapter two is a lot longer than I was expecting. not creepy. Oh, it changed. Yeah, dude, you're getting a little bit too good. You shouldn't chase the unknown. I don't like this place. No, I don't even know if, um... Stealthing will even help me. <laughs> you know, it, it was nice and romantic until, you know, the graveyard. Now I'm not happy about it. I'm all like, come on, man. I don't like this place. Heartwood. Oh, the Heartwood tomb. The Heartwood's family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. Oh, 
I just realized that I don't want to actually have to hold the crouch button. No. Oh. I thought I had to keep holding it so I can keep crouch walking, but I don't. Dude, graveyards? Are freaking creepy. Shotgun shells are full. Sad face. Does it see me? Oh. It did. Okay, so see, so stealthing doesn't fully work, which is sad. Maybe stealthing only works in areas that actually say stealth. slow then probably <laughs> I don't like this place <laughs> it's true. Oh, For a couple of seconds there, I forgot how to swing my weapon. Okay, so see, now they tell me I can sneak.
And this is me going, how is that considered sneaking? like this. Did he die? Oh, he died. Oh. That's, oh, that's a brick. Molotov. Well, it's nice that they, you know, provide tons of Molotovs in this area. You know. Oh, great. complain about weapons breaking.
Oh, right, 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 okay, I was like, where am I? Okay, so... Did he come through? When you get super confused on... Oh, I had a weapon! Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, right, 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 okay, 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 so this is where I originally came from, okay. Right. And then... I've been there. Okay, so I think... I'm not sure. Is this the other way that I came from? Oh, no, that's... Uh, that's definitely not... So that means... This door was the door that I... Exited from? Let me just check one more time here. Right, the, du uh, the double heels, right, 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 okay. <clears throat> I'm just like, dude, this place is creepy. First of all, I'm like, it's not aligning right here. Oh, dude, I don't like this place. So realistically, who in their right mind would like this place?
Stupid tentacles! He totally did. I'm sad now. I was doing really good with not have not using the heels. But I was not expecting an ambush like that. That was sad. What are you doing? Will you get up? I'm so glad you're reassured. <laughs> the cemetery is like way too big. There's the door with... Oh, I've got the three talismans, so then... Okay. So that's where we originally came in, and then I went that way. But now... Have I been this way, then? This other path? I don't remember. You can't really, dude. He's like, this doesn't look good, but uh, we can't, we can't break this door. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna leave her there. Okay. Well, then I guess now I go back.
just getting weirder and weirder. Please don't touch her. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep even with Bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at their setup. Emily? Why would you? My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with some the dark man. Who is he? No, 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 no! Don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. Sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. And what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! Oh, my head! I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then find out like tie glass ball filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Teoria. Oh, my love, Jim. Okay. Luggage key. Oh, his chest. Okay. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. It's Cassandra. Perusi's body looked unharmed. Combi couldn't figure out how she died, or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the she, people she, she, that she, 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 she. Okay, so now we can finally go to Jeremy's room. True, true. We finally figured that out. Ah, the lens. The telescope lens. Why would he lock that up? Dude, I just want to go into Dr. Gray's apartment. <laughs> so far Okay 
Okay, wait. Um. Okay, wait. So if I go down the gallery, down to the downstairs, right? I end up here. Then if I run through the plaza, or piazza. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait. Crap! I screwed that up. Wait. Here. Oh, right, right, right. Then through the library. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I really hate those statues. Okay, then we're gonna go... Uh, yeah, through the library. Uh, we still don't know the safe code. But that's fine. Okay, this is cool looking. Creepy. And interesting. <laughs> Game's like, hey look, we're gonna give you another puzzle that's gonna hurt your head. Oh my god, I actually got it right. Here, I'm, I'm like the worst with constellations. Oh, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? The dining room. Interesting. Not the sitting room. It's that hallway. No. Grand parlor, isn't it? Yeah, dining room. Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious tearaway? The gate will open in the dining room. No, how long is chapter two? this way from here. It should be here.
As someone who's never played the OG Alone in the Dark or Personal of This Remake. That's good. I personally don't even remember the originals. <laughs> I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that... I want design choices. Been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their Seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, Detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. <laughs> Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Jeremy's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Jeremy with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud, if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, Detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. And I was like, well, lovely. All the combat. I feel like they definitely want to keep the combat, like, simplified. Not overly tricky. Do you have any advice on how to deal with the Dark Man? Mm -hmm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away is origin. Well, good to meet you, one. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward Deadly Run. And I'm just like, dude. Just enough that the did feel like they were purchased from the near so hard. <gasps> okay, for me, the only thing I don't like is that the weapons are breakable. Like, that part kind of annoys me. <laughs> I just had to get to, like, to increase that, like, slight level of difficulty there, but it's still irritating. Ignoring these things doesn't make them go away, buddy. But fire seems to help. 
It's true. So true. Your map is of no Tom use here. I felt confused by the pleasant nature of Terraweya. It was somehow uncomfortable to him. Huang, the sweater wearing Buddha, wasn't helping either. According to Convy, people just weren't meant to be this nice and genuine. Best to hurry off to the library, he thought, and see if he could find information about Jeremy's relationship with the dog man. if they do remake the others definitely I don't like this room <laughs> I haven't played these games since I was a kid so it's definitely nice to revisit them He's like, no, you gotta go in the other door. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to. <sighs> I know I said that. I just wanted to get to chapter three. I wish I had a map. Such a nice library. Lovely. Ugh. It's two rooms, you need bravery. <laughs> looking library you know not bad some repairs definitely <laughs> oh my god my dog Ben I don't even know why I stepped in there like, yeah, I, let's just not touch this and what do I do? I touch it. There's something missing. Okay. Oh my god, this place is huge! I mean, I get it's called a great library for a reason. stuck in a freaking hole. Yeah. It's definitely one of those things. You know you shouldn't do it, but you're gonna do it anyway. The Great Library. 
It was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record of the universe. Inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him. Told by a maniacal liar. An evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian. The only thing invisible to the Prowler. Well, I don't like that. Tell somebody to run. It's even my kind of place. <laughs> Ah. Uh. I wasn't aware of that. Something missing. There's something missing. Stuck in the environment again. There we go.
But he body blocks you there. Well, exactly. Because that's not creepy. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey! Hey! I was reading that! Listen to Del, you keep in the recorder, you don't have much room to talk. <laughs> That's why she needs a friend. What? What? She's lonely. So close. 
close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carmby, think. Think. The shipping company. Prexed. Right. Good luck. You're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon. In case you wondered. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder, if he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Okay, that's weird. Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> It's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? Okay. You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance? I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Okay, they clearly enjoy messing with me, that's for sure. Matchbook. Oh! Finally, okay. The Crescent City. Oh, it would probably help if I fix this. New Orleans lies southwest of Deserto along the Great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the Vieux Carré, is the home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Creoles? Creoles? Wrapped around the center, you will find a large and electric city full of people, including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz-crazed flappers, and, of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Deserto and watch, do, watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. Ooh. Prexed Shipping Company. According to the book in Tarawaya, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> I missed my shot. <sighs> oh, good times, good times.
must be another way inside. Scare the crap out of me. The sewer system has a tunnel running right below Craig's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. Your map is of no use here. Okay, well, I want to look around the dock area. That's locked. I think this is the harbor master's office. <sighs> Stevador's key. So let's say that this is where I am. <gasps> oh, Jesus! He just charged at me! Dick? Like, I'm all for, like, getting, like, the lore and stuff, right? But I'm just hoping I don't mess up on the items that can allow me to go into the attic. No way I can get this out of the way with my bare hands. I know. But if I get that crane going. We're just looking, dude. We're just looking. Oh, hello, I'm stuck. That was the key for this. Oh, okay. All finished. I was like, I hear. Missed. <laughs> I freaking missed. <laughs> I was all ready to like hit them with the freaking. 
A three-way Molotov. Oh, I, I love when my aim is shit. Love it, love it, love it. The greatest thing is, is there's moments where it's like, I do these like super impressive things and then moments where I do this. Oh my god, I freaking hate Dark Souls. Oh my god. <laughs> Bane of my existence, that game. Okay, so we moved the crane. Yeah, we did that. We did that. We gotta go into the sewer. What the hell is this building over here? Look scary. I hear you. Machine gun cartridge. Hey. I was like, that doesn't seem like a good weapon. There's <laughs> hey. a player, player, try, try, try. See, I don't mind watching people play them, but I, my anxiety skyrockets way too high when I play those types of games. And then it just becomes, like, not even fun. Maybe for people watching it's fun for a little bit, but then I'm a very scary person when I get angry. <laughs> I think I want the shovel. Shovel seems better. Okay, so I can't enter here. Okay, I guess. I never get tired of them as long as they're done. Damn. I mean, they're great games. If you like those types of things. Well, that's that's the thing, right? Everybody has their own experience when they play those types of games. Like, for me, the worst thing is when I'm playing it and somebody's like, why are you struggling? It's not that hard, right? And it's like, okay, that that's your opinion. I personally struggle really bad with those types of games. Okay, I was like, dude, where'd my light go? I was like, oh, you want me to go in there? Hmm. 
Agreed. Oh, he's like, nope, you're not drinking any more alcohol. It sounds fast, so that's why everyone keeps bringing up Dark Souls. Well, that's the thing, right? Because, like, I've played it multiple times on stream before. And it's only... And this is, like, a peer, like opinions from people that have watched me play before, right? It's funny to laugh at me and watch for a little bit. But then... After a while, it just gets really not comfortable because of how high like my anxiety skyrockets while I'm playing it. So when people start making fun of me, I start getting more frustrated, and then it's just it's just not enjoyable for anybody. Like, I've banned people over over it. So it's like. Asleep with anath anath anesthetized by Jeremy filtered these words from Deserta's gangrenous ground. Ever other praises of abundance to the black go to the words, hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Accept our sacrifice and judge our worth. I'm not gonna say that out loud. The black goat of the woods with a thousand young. That's just telling me to, like, summon something. I've watched plenty of horror movies. We are not summoning anything. So I feel like if we were if we were to run through them again, I feel like we have to play them in like sections. Like play a couple of hours, move on, come back later, that kind of thing, then it it'll probably stay fun without like the super super frustration with it. Uh, I'm okay with the weapon that I have. No, we're not jumping. So this seems like a nice place to just hang out. Damn it. No 
ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. Okay. <laughs> okay, game. I was like, I want to switch my gun. I don't want to stay on this gun. What is left, later is right, and hell is back again. What the fuck does that mean? Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. Right, but like... no other spots to go according to this we have the answer already dude i don't like that i'm stuck on this gun though That's like the weirdest puzzle. Of the Gotta go manifest on September 19, 1892. Prex shipping company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called 
the Black Pharaoh. Do you understand it? <laughs> ah! Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. See, here I was hoping that the game would just automatically transform me back to the house. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to have to remember that. So I guess we're not going back to the... Looks like the fog cleared up. The place just yet. It's just down the street. Dude! But I don't want to go there just yet. I figured it was a good spot to call it and finish tomorrow. But game's like, nope. Okay, we got one out of the three that we needed for the attic thing. Okay, I'm actually kind of happy I went to this door. Okay, these masks are creepy, but also so cool, too. Hmm. Oh my god, how many freaking stairs do we have here? Oh, finally, there's a door. Game's like never ending loop of staircases. Okay, so he's here waiting for me. You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, Detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saved your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician, and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. You would be the crazy one to think his presence and be ignored. Look where we are. It's got a point. Who 
We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Knight. No, you can't. You were going to loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. God damn it, Jeremy. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. Right, because he totally asked for help. How do you save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Exactly! Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. I love puzzles. Okay, but... The address of the event where Jeremy first met the Dark Man surprised Pompey. The infamous Gallatin. I'm being I'm being stupid. Wait a minute. Uh Oh wait, no no no, no. wait no that's not gonna make sense, right? Uh... Wait. One, two, three, four seven.
on it. H. Ah, wait. Four. I'm getting fed up here. Do that though? Two? Yeah, that's not it either. But that's Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. Is it Virgo? Wait a minute. Fuck. I can't freaking see. Oh no, it's Scorpio, I think. Ten. I think. Two, four. Huh? Can you go two, four, ten? You can't go two, four, ten. Two, five, eight? Wow! I thought I did that number already. It's playing with my emotions here. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize it opened. Oh, yeah, my light is like pure crap here. Oh yeah, because this is not, like, super weird. Oh. The huh? Just send me back to the mansion! Like, is that asking for a lot? Sorry. 
sunken desert temple. I better get down there. Oh, I see a shiny object. later. No, you're not gonna do it, eh? Fuck. <laughs> oh, bats! It's all like Indiana Jones here. Use the little tub of mechanisms to reveal the contract. Flying creatures. I gotta move. Oh. Looks operational. Good work. This one, right? Yeah, here. Whoa.
Well, I'll go back and... And check. First thing, I'm just gonna align... These lenses first and see what happens. Yeah, there are more. Mm. Yeah, see this one though, this one we need a lens for this one. We got that. Let's go back up here. Hmm. Oh, the star doesn't go here. Oh. Uh, wait. I think I think I know where the star one goes. We already moved. Ah, here, here, here. I like that I'm burning the curtains. Not gonna lie, that kind of scared me there, that last one. Hey! You know it!
brick. That's another weapon, I don't need that. you honestly just can't remember at this point. I think the last one is the center point. last one that I'm missing? Was it that one? Wait, maybe it's that one. Yes! Uh, the whole playthrough is all up on YouTube. problem. Had to think about it for a second, then I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's all, it's all uploaded. <laughs> light up all three crystals now, I think? Is, is that what I'm supposed to do? This is pretty cool, though. Oh. Oh, shit, I gotta get back up there. I'm like, I love going the wrong way.
I don't know, dude. Do you really want to hurry down there? Oh. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self deceit, temper manic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. So, the psychologist? put it. But I was officially kidnapped. Okay, good. Hey. No. Oh. Hey, detective. <sighs> what are you doing? Sleeping. Oh, I found some. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the Dark Man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside your setup. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to. Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I worry, Detective. He's Don't losing it. Fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You get your money. <laughs> At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. <laughs> She's just like, there's something seriously wrong with this guy. Okay. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through the barriers of self-deceit, temperamentic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the Heartwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye, yet doing so will be the doom of Deserto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, O oh crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay forever. So break into Dr. Gray's office. Okay, so oh, we're at, okay, so we're at chapter four, finally. Okay, good. Which means 
we can finish the game tomorrow. Okay. So at this point in time, I just want to just look at the map really quickly. So Batista's room has something. Jeremy, Jeremy's room has something. Setting room, Gracie, Cassandra. So basically backtracking and grabbing a bunch of stuff now. <laughs> Conservatory also has something now also. Okay. So basically a bunch of things to go grab. Combin never thought he'd be so happy to be back at the Citadel. It okay. felt like he had crawled through a long, dark tunnel of misery and regret. Now that he was back, Combi could look into the steps mentioned in the contract. But there was one thing that gnawed on him. What exactly did this have to do with Dr. Gray? Because in a psychological sense, Dr. Gray would be the dark man. makes the most sense when you look at the investigation and the contract. These are all like psychological doctory things. Hmm. Alright, time to get Jeremy out of the contract so we can get the hell out of here. Something tells me I'm gonna have to <laughs> Okay, so objective is break into Dr. Gray's office. Okay, so it's officially nighttime. I'm not happy about this. So let me see something here. I could go this way first and go check here. And then do this. Oh! Oh wait. Okay, game's like, nope, you're not doing that. New plan. Okay, I still have a weapon, okay. Mm. <sighs> Got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that dick fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Well, you know, like us. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. You don't need to know about all that. <laughs> Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Just be ready in case he starts anything. MG Huff's McCaffrey's. I wonder. Is this open now or is this still locked? Oh, wait. Oh no, wait. Ah, wrong door. Wait. Go back. <laughs>
Wait, wait. They lit a fire in here? Oh, the rod is like spreading everywhere. Thank you. Okay. Game, you are telling me that there is something here. Okay, okay, okay. We must have faith, faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. Oh, if we are that. lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense. Well, what weapon? Falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is our goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. See, I knew there was something wrong with that child. Starte Artist Colony, a monograph by Yael Klein. Have a good one. Conservatory, we've got nothing, so there's no point going out of that door. So now I can backtrack. Now what? But here it does say that there's something in the conservatory.
Interesting. But where? Mrs. Thompson, I understand the last week has been busy. Under these circumstances, I find it important to remind you that Ersetto's concerns are not a public matter, nor is it something that should upset you. Please continue your excellent work, and don't spend a thought on the death of Perosi, or, more importantly, the suicide of Cassandra Beauregard. They should mean nothing to you or the staff. Mm? I rely on your loyalty, and trust that your close kinship with the Tabois siblings will keep Tercetto's secrets hidden. It's kind of eerie how the tree... Keeps whispering to me. Okay, now. Yeah, so garden has nothing. Garage over here, absolutely nothing. Yes, I don't have to go down here. Piazza's blocked? That's blocked. Oh, this is blocked. Wait. Ah, uh -huh, so something broke here. Alternative way. Hmm. Okay, wait, let me think here. So the dining room is blocked. If I were to go down the stairs. I would end up somewhere I don't need to be. E. Oh, wait, 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 actually, um, note this. Sorry, uh, wait, conservatory. Does loop me to the garden. Actually, okay, wait, this might work. Wait. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So they blocked it. Oh, okay.
The two orderlies still hadn't found Jeremy. Conby figured this was good news. Emily had reminded him about some strange deaths at the Seto, and Conby wasn't sure who he could trust. Hello. Okay. Break into Gray's office. Right, that's his office. So I still can't go here, right? Eh? Why? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe we can only go there as the girl. Because then it would make sense why I can't go. Okay. So now his office can wait. I'm doing not bad. You know. <laughs> okay. Detective Combi, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds. Locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to Norlands. Sincerely, Jeremy. Okay. Glad to hear. <laughs> you know, it's always those things that could be better, but you know. So far, not too, too bad. Just backtracking through every room so far since the new items all, um, appeared. Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. I don't know, dude. I don't think you should trust your sister. Just saying. You've never heard of Alone in the Dark? No? Wow. Anyway, this is like a remake, reimagination of like the original game. It's, it's pretty good. It's definitely great for, like, people that want to experience the game but have never played the first game. Like, the original. Okay. Okay, Prossi's room is locked. I was trying to see if anything had changed because some suddenly the door here was locked. Ah, so they did block that. How the hell did you guys block that door when you both went through it? That's interesting, actually. Quite impressive. Hmm. Okay. So now that's done. Wait, did you finally open it? Oh wait, no, I was already here before. 
Do not disturb. Ooh. I think Dr. Gray might be in there. Perfect time to sneak around his office. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Cause then I'm kind of glad that I detoured this way really fast. And then mezzanine, we don't need to go. Okay, back down here. I mean, this is assuming that his office is not locked. Oh. And then obviously we're gonna go here. Oh, oh, oh. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. Eat, drink, pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about it tonight. I think we all feel it. Besides, yeah, that's we true. That's true. Some new words for the prayer, thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out, and things will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. Tell you this child, man. Oh, God damn it, Grace! Stay put for once. He, he dropped a key. First floor hall key. We better hold on to these. We don't want them to get lost. I play Anno all the alone in the dark, but this one is more. There's something missing. Well, I mean, it's the new version, right? It's definitely worth checking out. Especially if you're a fan of the series. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long, but that wasn't mm. allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside, he would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Ooh. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. Oh, I'll finally be able to get into that safe. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, cool. Um, there's actually a DLC that you can buy for this game where basically it, it brings you back to like the original, original graphics for the main character. So the, the game graphics are like 2024 graphics, but your characters will be like, the old, 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 old graphics. It's hilarious. I think the DLC is like three bucks. Like, I didn't get it, but I, th I thought it was so funny. It, it, would, it would make the game so much more hilarious to play. So, like, it was tempting, but... What do you expect from them? You created too much, there wasn't any room to breathe. Your re reification rendered all possible worlds void. You took everything they could imagine and constrained it into something that you didn't even care about. Or maybe you did, perhaps you cared the most all. Maybe you tried to save them from themselves, and that's why you had to die. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay, okay. Ah, maybe the sitting room one. We can't finish it. 
Unless we're playing as Emily, maybe. And they said nothing's in the bathroom, right? Yeah, bathroom has nothing. So let's go check serial killer kid's room. Okay, that's the key. Okay, okay. Okay, so these are her drawings. McCarthy was a deadbeat. His mere presence annoyed Carby. It was like watching the worst version of himself mock him by okay. simply being worthless. I just gotta remember now where While this is. Carby enjoyed watching the child outplay the drunkard. There was something terrifyingly familiar about Grace. It was taunting him. Like he was supposed to remember, but couldn't. Seems about right. Okay, well, we know we have another puzzle here. Things I remember seeing a drawing from her. And now I'm like trying to remember where the hell I seen that picture. Yeah, okay, I gotta go downstairs anyway. Okay, saw the game. I'm going in this way first. I've literally wanted to come into this hallway like the whole game. No, no. I was gonna say, there's no way you're here right now. Come on. I mean, he could have been. At this point in time, anything's believable. Surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Okay, so I need something to break that. Sometimes. I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. But we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we're here to be forgotten. Kathy's room, we'll have to come back once we get, I'm assuming, a screwdriver. blind. Oh. oh. I don't 
see any prompts for her for this room. But there's clearly some- there's something in here. So there really was nothing special here. Read the writing this on the room. I belong here. I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. Hey! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I wrote that. This is my room. Interesting. I know the combination. I carry it with me. My dude's going crazy. I know the number. Examine the items in your inventory. Louisiana State. Oh, I don't need that. I think they said Clark's office, though. Hello. I'm talking weird. Just help me with this. I'm so bad at this. One, nine, six, six. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's, it's this here. So I just, just got to do the code right. 196692 Because the thing is, they don't tell you the directions you're supposed to spin it. One nine six six nine two, which is where it's a little bit confusing. One, okay. Then nine. Okay, then all the way around to six. Okay. Shit, I ah, fuck, I went the wrong way. One. Nine. Six, six, then nine. Wow, that is really bad if you have it, if you cannot figure out how to like rotate that shit. made many discoveries in wow. your case. <laughs> the child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. You're so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle. Take care now. My coffee. It's true. It's true. Sometimes puzzles and games are just like way too complicated for no reason. Like, okay, thank you. You're giving us the number, but you have to spin in a specific direction, then you need to tell us that direction. Now, maybe the game does tell us that somewhere, and I just didn't notice that part, but what does it say? Uh, I think you can read it, eh? Isn't it great? <laughs> I think it's it, it's like 90% accurate. <laughs> I mean, if I deserve more followers, then share my content with people. How long have I been here? Dude, you've been here forever and ever. Ooh, can I actually unlock this door? Perfect. Okay. So let's go back to that guy's room. Like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Oh, sure, that's true. Okay, never mind screwdriver. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just 
made another try. Why does it sound super creepy now? Oh, because that's not completely... What the hell happened in here? And now I'm thinking. The empty room always felt familiar. It had a mild fragrance of crushed leaves and wet sand. That Should I do this? convinced <laughs> visitors that they belonged. It wasn't real, of course, but it was more real than many other things you could find. I'm like, do I really want to solve this puzzle?
Now this one. I was like, can we not do that? That's creepy. I'm like, I'm like, you know what? You can't read. I'm gonna just make a save here. Okay, okay. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. Okay, we have no door here. something in my office then, eh? Look, the corner of this, we're still missing something. Hello! What are we missing? I didn't even see that picture. It's going, how are you?
That's always fun. I remember this case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. But he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Mmm, that's good. At least the weather's getting better for you. Games like clearly you cannot light the crows on fire. And then we went here. Thornhill wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information. So he needed some convincing. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. Jerry is still today's tomorrow. We'll be back to five. That's like here. We had another massive snowstorm, but the weather stayed muggy. It's like, how does that make any sense? <laughs> Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on the easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had certain mesmerizing gloom seemed to they're doing okay telling me I was needed for something important I felt myself falling into the pain only being brought back by Thornhill thrusting an address to a hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out you had freezing rain? we had freezing rain too but it was muggy the whole time it was raining You know, that like makes total sense.
We gotta go. Can't go that way. I mean, I know I could have avoided that, but... St. George into my hand. It's my own fault for going the wrong way there. I don't remember this at all. But I can't say it didn't happen. This time, if I screw up the sneaking, at least the shotgun is ready. Because the problem was I went the wrong way. So trying to figure out how to get past these two guys. You're so sneaky! I know sometimes whenever you're playing these types of games and you're kind of like allowed to like explore a little bit oh don't do that dummy it makes you wonder if the part that you're doing right now is what you're supposed to be doing i 
A candlestick weapon. Dude, I think my pickaxe is still better than a candlestick. Yeah. Because <clears throat> we're supposed to be breaking into Dr. Gray's office, but I'm like, I want to grab all of the other items in the other places first, so it makes you wonder, it's like, before doing this thing, it's like, were we supposed to check Gray's office? Like, I don't think it'll change anything. I don't think it really matters, but... On my way to the hotel, the morning gang caught up. I owed them money, a lot of them. I can't remember what for, probably something. Dumb gambling debt for an incised reach payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. I could just mull it off there. Secret objective. vaguely familiar. Let's make sure there's nothing here. Catch up with them here. I must have followed them. Where? Okay, so we followed him. Ah, there's the map. Do it boarding school. painting.
Deserto. So this one's confusing. Oh, I didn't know I can rotate the items. Oops, my bad. That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Pearl River. This is where I caught up. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. And I'm still not seeing. What am I forgetting? to the boat for a second I just naturally started going down that path Secret objective. Ah, man. <gasps> oh, shit. Dude. part is when it specifically says oh your hatchets are full but yet I don't have one like thanks game Let me just go here. Oh no. Was her own fault. Grace. I 
I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Or is any of this real? How do you mean? This day, just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again, then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! We? Do it yourself! I'm down there with him, remember? Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. There must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. Good point. Don't worry, kid. I'll think of something. I'm not holding my breath. Meanwhile, it's like, um, maybe I should have explored this spot first. Oh, okay, okay, that takes me back to the boat. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so then... No point going to the boat just yet. Something's holding it back. Tentacles.
So stupid. My my weapon is bugged out. This must be. Something's holding it back. It's actually extremely annoying. Oh my god, this freaking game, man. God, this game, man.
fuck it. Whatever. There was that other little spot I wanted to check really quickly, but... raising the bridge, but I didn't think I could go back. Are you okay? Don't leave me alone. What the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house! Now get out! Uh, 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 hey, Detective. Mr. Carnby. I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. This place, it's... There are some very disturbed figures... Don't let me kick you out, don't get out. I think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I wanna know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. <laughs> he's like, he's losing it. Or, I mean, or he's already, you know, already lost it. Either option seems pretty accurate. So many freaking issues, my dude. Okay, so now that we're kind of sort of back to, you know, normal here. Uh, okay, we, we have the safe uh, code anyway, so we do have to go back. Now I think we're finally back going into Dr. Gray's office. Because at the moment, um, wait, knowledge, 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 shotgun cabinet, knowledge, yeah, we don't have access to the other shit yet, <laughs> the other shit, <laughs> and here, Something yeah, missing. here we still don't have that. Okay, well, things are a little bit normal again. Wait. Okay, no, no, okay, okay. I was like, something I was like, where's the clerk's office again? Okay, so let's go into the clerk's office first. There must be a spare key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. I don't have the combination for this. Maybe a chair or maybe a... Knowledge. 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 Knowledge.
nine. One. No, you're gonna do it again? They're like, nope, you gotta, you gotta do it a specific way. It worked. Oh, -ho! we've got the key. Oh. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as someone who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new worldview in which everything was predetermined but broken. Uh? Upon accepting this worldview, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed, or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. Because that's not super weird. See if we can figure this guy out. Are you happy that we're finally in his office? Hmm. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for, Mrs. Thompson. A key? Oh, for the, the globe! This is where McCarthy has hidden my favorite young. It's very important. Ah! Okay, I know what that key's for. Oh, ho, ho. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm, eating him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven hmm. threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, 
but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Now what's bugging me here, the clerk's office, if I give me one second here. when the game's like, nope, sorry, we're not gonna actually let you look at this. What a terrible thing to recognize that your betterment, it was an illusion, that you are so infatuated by the virtue of struggling that despite all your hard work, you make no real efforts to ever become well. Or that the treatment becomes such an obsession that instead of letting your wounds heal over time, you tear out the flesh in the hope it will heal better and faster. If only it would bleed in the way you wanted. Do we ever become well? What do you think, Dr. Gray? Okay, game. Now, why are you being weird? I mean, it's also highly possible it could still be just, like, bugged. But it's bothering me because... Yeah, it's not like a super, super, super big deal. But there's an achievement for basically like clearing every room in the in this built like this place. And if this stays pink, then it doesn't deem as cleared. I know where I gotta go, though. At least for this part. So I go here. Oh, there's definitely something buggy here. Hmm. Okay, now, fastest way to go back. Conley had run their car off the bridge. He pulled Grace out of the sinking car, but left her father to drown. He could have saved him. There was time. He just chose not to. Instead, he took Grace back to New Orleans and collected his paycheck. <gasps> oh. That's more messed up than I thought. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I can do this by going down this way. This way. much more. This has to end. Oh. Will you leave an offering at the whispering tree? for years. When he lived in Brooklyn, it was only on rare occasions, like when he was child climbed out of the tree in Central Park, when he almost drowned in the Hudson River trying to save his despaired mother. The whispers became more common as he moved toward New Orleans, but still rare enough to be ignored. Now as he walks the halls of Deserto, he knows what is calling him. He doesn't want to admit it, but the dark young in the conservatory is telling him to sacrifice the Cabri San Corn. Um... Wait a minute. Hmm. No? Shit. Okay, wait. Just thinking. Okay, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make another save. What I want to do quickly I don't know physically if I even have um, an item for sacrificing but I want to just see if something happens if we go to the if we go to the tree So it should be this way. And then I should be able to go down here. Yeah, because the reason why I'm saving on a different file is just in case this does something that I don't really want it to do. She will call on you when it's time. Do not ignore her. <laughs> now I'm just like, 
wait, wait. I thought it was gonna be like an instant thing. Now I have no choice but to proceed with our game like this. Good morning. Well. I mean, I did make that other save file, so. I guess we'll just proceed. When she calls me, I'll go back. It did, it did. It's so comfy. May have been too much. Nah. Bigger is better. It's the way it should be. <laughs> now I just gotta remember that the other save file that I made is the one that I have to go back to before making, making the offer to the tree. This is totally not creepy at all. The Soto stands on a breeding ground for the grotesque, a temple devoted to rebellious growth, the most ugly and cancerous side of nature. You may be able to shield your psyche for a while, but rest assured your soul will come to pray to that hideous god in time. That is the story of every man and woman who gathered around that ancient arbor. They all croak, bark, and bleed because their own bodies are afraid that they wish to repel the evil those words conjure. Instead of that blasphemous name, the gossip of Hush Wizards the names of Deserto, Astarte, and the Black Goat of the Woods. Hmm. Okay. Eh? Now you're telling me Stairway still has something. But maybe it's this thing. Ugh, we'll figure that out after. I need a key for that. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Date June 14, <laughs> 1930. Plate. <gasps> Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs work best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Observations. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely uh. that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Lovely. The thing is, the game, the, the the issue that I have, there's an achievement. I don't know if it counts on either the, his playthrough or the girl's playthrough, but there's an achievement for basically never drinking from the flask because Carnby basically is an alcoholic. But the issue is, you have to heal yourself by drinking, right? It. I feel like it's physically impossible to go through this game without taking damage because the game is super clunky. Like, we get stuck in the environment constantly. 
the combat is very at times. So it's, it's like there's no way you can go through the game without get, taking in damage or healing. So it's kind of like a, like an irritating achievement, especially in the sections where you like you get mobbed by like so many monsters. It's like how are you not supposed to take damage there? Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhardt and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance, as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing, and I should have Waits order a new one. He's an alcoholic and claims to see demonic stuff. So the girl's playthrough is definitely going to be her finding him pass it on the floor all the time. Basically. And so far, every time she's found us, we've been on the ground. So kind of like what, like what you said before. Like when you were making that joke, it was accurate. But like for us, like we see what's happening, but for her, she keeps asking him like, were you drinking? So it's gonna be amusing. So like I was doing so good. I think we got to like halfway through chapter two where we didn't have to heal at all. Cause like we literally took in no damage. But then when they started throwing like multiple monsters at a time, it was, and things just being like very clunky with the combat, I just, I couldn't not heal. Like, we had no choice. Okay, so laboratory, we're not done. And now the other thing that I'm not 100% sure on, I could be completely wrong, but I feel like some of the map is starting to like bug out. Even though like we've cleared the things in the area, it's like the game is not reading that it's cleared. So the map is not fully like changing to blue like it's supposed to. so much better.
Why is the placing of this one so irritating? Like four side views and one front view? Yeah, but like the weird thing, you can't even place it properly? Like on the board? like align it right when you can't like this is the only one that kind of fits properly in the corner and I don't even know if that's even the top corner it looks upside down Maybe this one's upside down. Yeah, like look at this. I can't go down more. I can't say that this is right, but let me just... I mean, it looks right. Minus, you know, the awkward... Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. it happened so I made a, a separate save file because um, we we finished off one of the uh, line me ups um, this one here the goat without horns and I wasn't sure obviously what it's gonna do right because this is like a bonus objective in the game 
So, I made a separate save file, and then I went. Dr. Gray had been putting. Jim oh, she's talking. Wait. Some thorough medical investigation. He was trying to break through Jeremy's stories and get to some truth, just like Combi was. Could Dr. Gray have been trying to break the contract as well? Yeah. So when we went to the tree, we, we put the items into the tree, and basically now it's saying we have to do a sacrifice, but they're not saying what we have to sacrifice, just that when the tree calls us, we have to go and don't ignore her, which makes it kind of creepy. Yeah. So it's kind of annoying. Like, I thought at first it was going to be, like, done in one shot. Not, like, something I have to wait for. So now it's, like, everything that we're doing here while waiting for that... That calling, I have to load the other file after and basically go through this whole section again naturally without doing the side objective. Well, I'm pretty sure I know who we have to sacrifice. It just seems bad. <laughs> but I mean, this whole game is bad. Everything's fucked up here. Yeah, so like, look at this. Um, the map, right? So, clerk's office. We're technically done here unless a new puzzle pops up at, like, afterward that I'm not aware of. But the game is still saying that there's a puzzle here, even though we finished it. And sitting room, we're done everything here, but it's still labeling as as red. Oh, thanks, game. So I'm not sure if it's bugged out or, or something's going to pop up right near the end. So it's a little annoying because there is an achievement for basically clearing the whole map. Like basically turning everything blue. But I don't know if that's, like, bugged or not. And here, too, it's still saying that there's something in the laboratory. Yeah, so here, too, it's not finalizing. And now you're locked. Something's... Either I'm confused or Chapter 4 is super, super, super buggy. Find a fuse for the circuit breaker in the infirmary. We literally did the circuit breaker. See, like, and all, all doors are locked now. But the game is telling us that we're not done here. Laboratory, surgery, well, surgery is locked. This is super weird. Oh, it changed again? Your imagination again. 
Everything is fine. Oh, the attic's open. <laughs> and we're back here. Perfect time to have a look around this place. A noose. Oh, lovely. What is that? What do you mean, what is that? It's freaking alcohol. Okay, I'll be back for this in a minute. This game is so funny. The game is great. It's just certain things I want to throw fist now. Like we had no issue. Well, okay, outside of getting stuck in like the environment every now and then, but like no other issues in the game, right? But now it's like, dude, what is wrong with chapter four? Okay, I'm gonna make another save. Chapter uh, four is the one that we're currently on. Three is the one that we have to backtrack to. No, you, you don't want to touch it? You don't want to do anything with it? Game, when I literally tell you to touch it, you touch it. You can like use the charger cycle on the you, but by turning off your controller on it, oh look. Oh lovely. Six, four, one. That one wasn't too bad. So the place shifted again. Wait, 
Will you stop ignoring the noose? Ah, wait. Ah, oh, the noose is probably tied into that, that hidden memory. So if I don't get that last collectible or whatever it is, I can't access that memory. Honestly, that's what I'm thinking. Hello? Is anyone there? Jeremy? I need help! Wait. Can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking me. Jeremy, where are you? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. Right, so I think I think he's already dead. So that memory is what we need to basically confirm it. Oh yeah, there's no map here. I'm stuck in the bayou. And the mud's eating me. wrong for me to be like, we just leave him in the mud? <laughs> just kidding. He's not a- As I was saying before, that spider interrupted me. Um, wait, I may have forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, it's not exactly his fault that we're here. If I get the motor started, I could try reversing back into the river. We should. Oh, come on, game. You know I gotta go into that room. Jerk. But now I will say, though, it is pretty. Minus, you know. Again, everything trying to kill me. There's a boat. Yeah, let's... I don't know. Wait, though. But if I jump here... Oh. I'm in, like, a kitchen.
totally am. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Like, see what I mean? Like, I don't know why, like, why chapter four is so freaking buggy. Like, everything else in the game was so good, minus, you know, the getting stuck in the environment. And now it's like, dude, what is wrong with this? empty safe okay so this is probably where I have to do the, the boat thing of a bobber after machine gun is powered by electricity. I need to find a way to turn it on before I can use it. Seriously? Oh, I'm gonna throw fists at him. this way how the hell do you want me to go down ah looks pretty weak I just need something to put <gasps> oh that's how you want me to go down Congratulations, we have an empty gas can.
all, though, the game's good. Loki. Loki. Go get some water, buddy. Hmm? Supposed to die. What does that mean? Bet you were supposed ah. to die. I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story happen. Ah. What story? What are you referring to, Jack? Thirty years ago, Frederick needed me to die. You're not making any sense, Jeremy. Come back. Find hey. your focus. Hey! I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny. Again, find hey. your focus. Hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Now, everything is wrong. Nothing is in hey. place. I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Convy. What do you want? Did... Were you... Were you not talking to Jeremy right now? No. I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, Detective? No. Actually, actually, I don't... I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go... look for Jeremy. Good. Let me know if you find him. That was Jeremy's self-deceit? A steamboat stuck in the mud? I'm not gonna pretend I understand any of that. What a bunch of psychoanalytic nonsense.
Oh, now it's locked. Jeremy was calling out for help, but Combi couldn't figure out where the voice was coming from. For a moment, Combi wondered if the boat itself was Jeremy, or if he was below it somehow. It didn't matter right now. Jeremy was clear on one thing. He wanted Carmi to get the steamboat running and out of the mud. Okay. Now you're locking all my doors? still saying there's something. It's locked. She will call on you when it's time. Do not ignore her. So like, is the whispers gonna suddenly get like really loud or should I? I don't think I can go back to the tree though. Oh, that's totally not scary at all. Thanks game. Okay, wait. Let me just see something quickly. It's blocked. Of course it's blocked. Why do you think I'm trying to see if I could... Uh... Oh, wait, that's... Let me see something quickly here. Okay, before we go... Woohoo! Before we go talk to him... I don't want to run into the orderlies right now. I'm not sure I can trust them. Hey, shit. Hey! I don't want to go here yet! Detective, am I glad to see you. Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us sniffing around. What's going on here? You need to open the safe so on strange. a new playthrough before the game requires you to open it to get the... Oh, okay, okay, so I have to do it as her. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Because I know there's certain things that you can't do. Um, like, as him, it has to be done as her. There's a book missing. Detective Combi felt removed from himself. Like driving drunk, he carefully tried to navigate his environment. What the hell was going on? Was he finally losing his mind? At least Emily was here to call the police if he went off the deep end. Oh, the whispers are going. But I can't go to the tree yet. Have you found anything? What? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's oh, wait, I don't know why I turned off the camera. I thought there was a cutscene. Okay, let me know if there is anything you want to talk about. You don't find this place strange? Grisetto is certainly one of the stranger places I've been to. This room feels... Too real. Hyper real. More than anything I've ever experienced. Um, okay. I don't see what you mean. Forget it. I gotta get back to breaking the contract. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. 
She's just like, you're, you're, you're batshit nuts. <laughs> what did you do? I was just rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. No, you don't understand. I have to go to the tree. The tree's calling me. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. I did not. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Miss. I, 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 I didn't even think the of it. The mark on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look? At? This snake. That we'll look at this in a minute, okay, my dude. Okay. What were you saying about mass delusion? Dracetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even oh the name God. Dracetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dracetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer the black goat of the woods with a thousand young or Shubnigla. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. Well, at least she's doing her research. You think all of them are in this cult business? Even Jeremy? I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. We just need to find a way to stop all of this. I've been so busy trying to free your uncle from the promise he made to Dark man, I guess I kind of just let everything else go. Don't worry, detective. I feel like we're close. I'm sure Jeremy will turn up. If he is part of the cult, he wouldn't want to miss the Feast of St. John. I just need enough information to make him see the truth. I hope you're right, but I doubt it'll show up. Not as long as the Dark Man's got him hiding. Up in there, this whole oh my god, it's, it's the old school walking. God, I'm so happy the whole game is not like this. different from the ones when we were kids because I used to have the those same ones whenever I was a kid also but I wasn't sure if it's if it's the same or if it's like like a not remastered but like whatever that word is same just new edition Ooh, okay 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 yeah, I used to- I love those books whenever I was a kid. They, were, they scared the crap out of me. Don't answer the phone! Unless it's the tree calling. Hello? The dead, it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Detective Conley wanted nothing more than to make sense of it all. <clears throat> but clearly, that was not in the cards right now. Mm. No, 
that's that. Oh, same. I love the movie. Like, I, I knew they could have did so much better. But the, the graphics for the, the creatures were amazing. Story-wise, it's like, okay, it was a little bit disappointing there, but... Okay, where the hell? Uh... Uh... Look for the girl, Cassandra. Actually, no, the, the, that's the other spot. The Eye of the Possessed. You know, that has nothing to do with the number. Oh, lovely. I look, I don't know the number. Oh my god, this freaking walking! Okay, so clearly at this point in time I should have this number. And I- ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe this? I'm glad you're all excited about that. I mean, I'm excited about that too, but, um, I don't know what the number is for this one. There's no numbers here. Here they're just talking about the dagger. Oh, that's cool. Talk about making it super easy. <laughs> okay. Dude, I really didn't want to go back into his room. Maneuvering in here is horrible. You okay? You look a little frazzled. Just stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not... Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Whoa! Miss Hartwood, I think you're gonna want to see this. Is there something in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to... Whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. Massive lag spike. Goodbye, Miss Harwood. Dude, I just want to go to the tree. Oh, this place is totally not creepy at all. Snow? Yeah, 
the game specifically told me not to ignore the tree when the tree's calling me, but it's also not letting me go to said tree. I feel like it's kind of scamming me at this point. <laughs> like, oh, definitely. Oh, th this is accurate. Game's telling me we're now in hell. Seems about right. You got lost? So wait, the fact that I'm already at the stairs, does that mean that I did okay? <laughs> yeah? Go me! See, I, again, I have these moments sometimes. To when you're lighting the flare, right? It's so you can see those little rubble things. You're on your own. It's true. It's true. I am a pro at maneuvering Canadian weather. You're sitting in front. Ah. Can you just let me shoot a flare out here? Hey, you! Oh, maybe not. What are you doing here? What is this place? Turn back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. He 
He's like, I need some drinks after this. Woo wee! Are you serious right now?
everything! Aren't you happy? Stupid charlatan. What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh, my lord! Doctor! Baptiste! Quick! Jeez. What are you thinking, Carpet? Uh-oh! Now that was a fall, right? So now I'm just chilling here? Sleeping? You're awake? You are awake. Mr. Conby's up. Hey, buddy, I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. That was the good time? You back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Solved a manhand. You're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they okay? Jeremy's a little strange. But everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, combat. You want to try standing up? I don't know. Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Okay. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. Does she still want to take Jeremy away from Dursetta? I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. Jeremy, hang on for a little longer, okay? We'll be going back to New Orleans. Oh, good. I do so miss the city lights. Case closed. Detective Convy had found Jeremy and brought him back to Dissetto. He worried that Emily wouldn't be all that happy with his performance, considering Jeremy's impromptu brain surgery. Maybe she would refuse to pay him in full. It was the kind of thought that would normally infuriate Convy, but right now he just felt happy to be back. No matter if he would be seeing the $150 or not, Stop. he couldn't wait to rendezvous with Emily and go back to New Orleans. Okay. Hey, Ruth. I'm glad to see you made it back to Dursetta. You too, detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. Okay. You seen Emily around? <laughs> I saw her packing some things into that old jalopy you arrived in about an hour ago. I'm sure she hasn't given up on you yet. J 
catch you later. <laughs> Looking forward to it, detective. Kind of, eh? Okay, you know what? I want to just... I'm, I'm actually just going to make another file right here, just for this moment. So, five. Thanks. I'll save it for later. She's like, what? Eat. Seems like everyone's in a pretty good mood. The Eve of St. John is the most important date of the whole year. It's the only day when the black goat of the woods tends to her young. Hmm. I'm gonna go look for Emily. Don't worry about her. She wouldn't leave without you, would she? What are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out for a storm. Radio says it could be a wild one. Mm -hmm. You don't know where Emily is, do you? She's packing some of Jeremy's things. Said you want to take him away. I'm sure she'll come and get you when she's ready. Oh, oops. Should probably get a move on then. See you around, compare. we have a little turn the page ceremony by the tree it's symbolical symbol it's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness you know just like a tree facing the seasons things change but remain the same mm. so this is basically new year's eve but with a tree metaphor yes Exactly. You're so smart. It's about starting again. I mean, who could use a positive message like that more than a bunch of lunatics like us? It's got a point. I get the feeling some of you think this year is going to be special. Any idea why? Well, we got some new words, thanks to your buddy Jeremy. And some other changes to the program. Let's just say we are all in this year. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. Okay. So how does this all work? You dance around chanting? For the ritual, I mean? Stay and find out, detective. It might just do you good. You haven't seen Emily, have you? No, detective. I haven't. What's your part in this? I'm the Caber San Corn. It's very important. Only I can settle our debt. Oh yeah, that's that's reassuring. 
You know, I had my doubts, but you are in the right place, Brit. I think you might be right, for once. We talked to everybody. Let me check one last thing. Everyone knows what to do. Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, mm -hmm. we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Well, doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, doctor. Okay, that's not disturbing. There are their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever there is no the and the black take pity on us. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever there is no and the black take pity on us. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Hear us, Stop! Are you crazy? This year's the least that happened, Carpenter. Grace, stop! 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 Jeremy, come with me. Get over here. Jeremy, come with me. Jeremy, come here. No, there has to be another one. Oh, my God. Well, now you've officially went and made Mother angry. That monster leave Dorsetto. I have to stop it. I mean, you could also just say screw it all and just let it go. Oh my god. Well, they did say that this was a party that we would, you know, remember, right? Right? Okay, now I have an issue of I don't even know how to get out of here. Ah, uh, here?
my god, it's coming!
fucking have to can't fucking reload anything, fuck, if your life depended on it. Can survive though, yeah. It's like for, for now, or maybe she does survive. Oh, it's so irritating because the combat is so clunky. Like, it takes them a hundred years to reload the gun. What the hell was that? I try to tell you, there was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black boat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I kinda like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. Alright, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. That girl. <laughs> now the only thing that kind of annoyed me was our objective to go see the Tree of Whispers? We couldn't do it. The game wouldn't let me do it. So... Does that objective have to be on the girls' playthrough? Or is there, like, a specific moment where I'm supposed to do that? Because by the time I got the items, it wouldn't let me go back to the tree to finalize everything. So, like, it's weird, that one, because I had everything ready, the tree told me to go, but all the doors were locked. Right. So, overall, I enjoyed it. There's obviously certain things that I would like it to be done differently, like, you know fix the combat being clunky and stuff there but overall it was good it was good